Hello and welcome. This video is an approved version of my original Rich Clark video that I made before I felt comfortable talking. This video is made for commentary and critique purposes only and based on information that is available publicly online. Links to all sources and screenshots used are linked in the description. Before we begin, I have to give a content warning. There will be mentions of mature content, children, harm that may come to them, and inappropriate contact with minors. Please use your discretion. Without further delay, let's talk about Richard Dean Clark, also known as Rich Clark, the father of Disney Channel actor Peyton Clark and internet personality Akisha Brinley Kersey. This is my daddy. Hi, I'm dad. Okay, I have to go make a video now. That's what I do. I'm the laborer. She's the. She's gonna look at you like really, and then you can kiss her. Then you can kiss her in the mouth. That's fine. But just after you do the mess up. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay. Akisha, stay serious. It's so awkward with you here. Rich Clark is a professional photographer based in LA, originally from Indianapolis, Minnesota, who has been practicing for over 27 years. He specializes in industry headshots and dance photography, but he shoots other genres too. It's important to note that he has gone through all the procedures and requirements necessary to obtain his California Child Performer Services permit. Rich has talked about his method of photography in an old Facebook post and said, parents of preteens and teen girls. I shoot photos. That most of you know. What you probably don't know is that when I shoot, I have a way of greatly raising the confidence of my clients, specifically these girls who are struggling with identity or uncertainty about where they fit socially. The special talent of mine continues after the shoot with the reception their photos get from not only their family, expected, but from their peers who may have not noticed them before. I've even had parents contact me to have a quick chat with their girls about a specific issue they think I might be able to help with. I love that feeling of being useful. I know this confidence building through honesty and the identification of the beauty I see in them isn't a permanent solution to these trials they encounter, but you'd be surprised just how meaningful it can be. So when you see your daughter struggling with her appearance or losing the assertiveness and contentedness she used to have, consider setting up a shoot. I can't guarantee you anything, but my success in this area can be supported by my clients. Hopefully they will comment with their experiences. I can guarantee that you'll get images that capture the girl you used to know and love as accurately as anyone ever could in a still image. I shoot with the most beautiful kids, teens, and women anywhere, and I can't help but look back on every one of them in awe. I feel like everyone that has ever hired me was meant to be my client, pure perfection, and talent every single time. Since Acacia Brinley's quick rise to popularity on Tumblr in the mid-2010s, her family was exposed to the public eye more than they were expecting to be. People began speaking out about Rich early on when comments he has made towards some of Acacia's teenage haters on Instagram started circulating. I will read some, but I will be censoring as much as possible. He replies to a comment about Acacia's appearance and says, Sweetie, you're too fugly to even get the attention of some random R-word on the street. To another, he says, I can't help it if they are porkish W's, derogatory term to women, plug those holes and take their heads out of the trough and they'll be just fine. Now F off, you nosy B-word. He has posted on numerous minors' posts, commenting on their looks, You're so cute, and well done, on a photo of a girl's bare stomach. Many other Instagram users were coming out with allegations of comments Rich Clark made towards them, ranging from compliments on their looks to insults and wishing harm on them. One user says he liked a picture of me in a bathing suit. Another user said that Rich was so mean to them, it made them want to take their own life. There's been numerous examples of inappropriate comments made by Rich Clark towards minors, specifically Acacia's critics. You're so beautiful, young lady. Isn't it funny how Acacia's fan sites always have gorgeous owners and hate sites have the scary, ugly owners? Hmm. Go harm yourself, please. I'll give you $5 if you do it. Wait, you won't be able to spend it. Oh well, do it for yourself, since your life doesn't matter at all. This is a grown man telling teen girls to harm themselves and take their own lives because they dislike his daughter's online presence. Rich received this comment on Facebook from a previous customer telling him they will not be working with him anymore. He replied, Go F yourself. The only reason I agreed to shoot your daughters is because I'll shoot anything for pay. 
This comment is long and very disgusting, full of insults and threats. Something that should never be said to anyone, especially just because they critic a public figure. Pause to read it if you like. When Akisha Brinley's parents separated, her followers were wondering about the situation. Peyton Clark's ex, Brittany Pristine, was the one to speak out about this. She said that Rich approached her in a romantic way and made inappropriate comments about minors. She shared text messages where Rich is asking Brittany to become his mistress if things don't work out with her and Peyton. When she told Peyton about this, he was not surprised at all. When Brittany showed Acacia the screenshots, she took them to the Clark's mother, Melissa, who didn't take this well, which is what led to the separation of the Clark parents. Later on, Brittany confirmed this in text messages. Rich reacted by posting a public Instagram post on his now-deleted account, Rich Clark Photography, with the next caption. 1. I'm deleting this account today. If someone that seems to have new work with my models posted and puts in a follow request, it's my new account. I only follow who I follow now. My daughter thinks I only have a large number of followers because I use her, so I'm cool with dumping this account and starting over. 2. I am getting a divorce from Melissa and we are not friends. She hates me and I can't stand her. Makes sense, right? So there you have it. I'm just a photographer and take no credit for my kid's success. It was all the work of Melissa and the kids themselves. I will delete this account late in the day so I can get my info of who I follow and who actively follows me only for my work. If you land on my new account as a follower with Acacia in your username, I will not let you follow me. No offense to you. During this time, Acacia was interacting with fans and posting on her social media. She tweeted, I'd like to put out a tweet that I'm sorry if my dad's ever said anything horrible to you. It upsets me a lot, but he won't listen to me. In another thread of tweets, she said, I'd like to post an apology for my videos lately. I know you guys miss my old videos, where I'd film them on a nice camera with great lighting, but that was my dad's camera, and things have happened, so now I can only film using my laptop. I've been trying to make more videos so I can save up for a nice camera and lights, but I have stuff to pay for my family, so that's where most of my money is going to. But I'm going to be making more videos, hopefully getting a little more money, so I can start making better quality videos for you guys because I see your comments on my videos saying you miss how I used to make them. Well, I'm going to try my hardest for you guys. Heart, I love you. It's clear that Rich's actions have been serious enough to have an immense effect on the Clark family as a whole. Recently, Brittany has been speaking out about the situation on TikTok. She said, When I was 18, I met a Disney star on OkCupid and we started dating. He introduced me to his family on the first date and the dad immediately invited me with him and his son on a road trip. On the trip, he told me he was a professional photographer and convinced me I'd be a great model. We started working together and it didn't take long for him to start asking for very questionable poses. After working together with his son present a few times, he flat out asked me to be his mistress and when I tell his son, my boyfriend at the time, he doesn't seem surprised. He admits this has happened before. The dad starts telling me about all the young girls he takes photos of and how attractive he finds them. He sends me the wildly inappropriate pictures he's taken and I finally approach his wife with everything I've been told. They get divorced because of this information, but to protect the family's image, they all paint me as a liar when I try to warn the parents of the girls the father has been working with. The Disney star and I break up and they all stop talking to me. I leave the relationship having been taken advantage of and groomed. Britney's TikTok is linked down below. As Rich mentioned, he is mainly focused on headshots and dance photography. However, some of his highly criticized photography was with children and young adults in provocative poses. One instance is of a model named Kylie. Kylie is a dancer and fashion model who was born in 1998. She has been photographed by Rich since as early as 2015, when she was 17 years old. As Kylie was growing up and maturing, so were the photos taken of her. Many people felt that this was inappropriate because Rich started shooting with Kylie when she was underage and was now shooting explicit photos of her as an adult. Despite the discomfort of the viewers, Kylie and her mother have no issue with the photos being taken 
even giving Rich positive reviews on his website. Kylie says that shooting with Rich is fun for her and makes her feel confident and always makes her laugh. Kylie also happens to be Rich's stepdaughter. This is obvious from her mother's posts where she posts about Rich and her daughter and says she loves her family. This family dynamic is making many people uncomfortable considering the age Kylie was when she first met Rich and the genre of photography she is modeling for now. An ex-model of Rich's named Irene Kaya came out with a video about her experience with him. Her video is linked at the top of the description below. I will let you watch it and make your own conclusions based on your impression of her experience working with Rich. Later on, Kaya made an update video. Following this video, many of Rich Clark's public and photography accounts are now gone. Most recently, an Instagram user left a comment on one of Peyton Clark's Instagram photos and said, Hey Peyton, I used to pretend to be friends with your pedo dad when I was a teenager so I could get receipts of him being creepy to minors and eventually expose him. Anyone who doubts the validity of the allegations Rich has had many different accounts and deleted them to cover his tracks. But if you don't take women at their word because you think they're lying, I have so many screenshots of him telling very young girls that their dad probably R-words them, that they should K-word themselves, that they're cute and should come to California to do a private photo shoot with him. The internet is forever. You can try as hard as you want to cover your tracks, but when you're harassed as many minors as Rich has, there will be receipts. And it was numerous, everyone knew, including the parents of the models that he groomed. They put their own children at risk knowingly. Peyton, I also remember when you went on a date with a 16-year-old when you were 20. You're not innocent, but I'm very curious to see how you try to shrink off accountability for this. You may have worked 8 years ago, but it's 2021 now. Post Me Too, and the culture is finally ready to hold pictures and the people who enable them accountable for their actions. Slowly, more and more women are coming out about their experiences with Rich Clark and telling their story. I found a thread on Twitter made by one of Rich's victims talking about her experience with him. Now that all of these women are grown up and can stand up for themselves, justice can be done. I'm curious, what do you think about this situation and all the new information coming out recently from Brittany and Irene? What should happen next? And what do you think it was like for the Clark kids growing up with a father like Rich? And what is it like for Acacia's kids now to be around him? Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'll see you in the next.